What's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR. So I think it's time that I stop depriving all of you and get back to making videos to give you all that good old content. I think I need to get back to making videos consistently because, as we know, everybody obviously agrees with all my opinions, agrees with all my thoughts, agrees with all my hot takes, especially on Twitter. And obviously, I'm being sarcastic because everybody well, not everybody, but a lot of people disagree with my thoughts, but my thoughts are my thoughts and I'm always going to give them. So it's time that I get back into the groove of making videos again. And this is it. OK, so the first thing we're going to talk about in this video is Halo Infinite. So in the August Halo Infinite development video that was released yesterday, 343 announced that Halo Forge and uh, the Halo campaign co-op won't be available at launch. So I'm going to read Joseph Staten's uh, or Staten's quotes, and I'm going to tell you my personal feelings on this, even though a lot of you may know my personal thoughts already uh, if you follow me on Twitter. So just bear with me. This quote uh, is a few is a few paragraphs. So in regards to the Halo Forge and uh, campaign co-op, Joseph said, when we looked at these two experiences, campaign, co-op and forge, we made the determination they're just not ready. And as a studio, we don't want to ship things if they're not ready so people can play them, have fun, have a nice, stable, performant experience. So we're going to keep campaign, co-op and forge in the oven for a little bit longer. And then when they're ready, we're going to release them as part of our seasonal roadmap next year. Yes, it, I agree. Even though my thoughts are my thoughts on this, having campaign co-op as a seasonal roadmap is a little bit strange because that is something that has uh, launched with a lot of uh, the past Halo games or if I don't know if it's all of them. But definitely most of them, you know, uh, have launched with campaign co-op and games in general. If they're going to have any type of campaign co-op, it's at launch. It's very strange to have have that as some type of additional uh, content that comes uh, in, in a seasonal roadmap. It's very odd. It's almost like it's treat. It's almost like they're treating it as additional content like DLC or something when it's just it should be something that's there by default. So I get that. He goes on uh, to say that Forge, which is the creation tool, uh, as a tool set is really advanced and it's going uh, going to hopefully give people the ability to create a whole bunch of new, innovative, novel experiences. But again, there are technical uh, complexities there and it's just going to take some more time to get it right. And more specifically uh, about campaign co-op, he went on to say, we have the opportunity uh, to play a uh, campaign all the time. He's talking about them as a studio. Um, it's this wonderful, wide open, non-linear take on a Halo campaign, and it's going to offer so much more flexibility to take down uh, ba uh, banished bases from all kinds of different angles to progress through the game in your own way to a certain extent. At the same time though, that's complicated when you think about the save systems and all the technology that needs to drive this non-linear experience. So in a co-op scenario, that's more complicated. And that's another reason why it's just going to take, uh, take a little bit longer, just to make sure it's quality day one and people can jump in and play and have fun. So that's the end of his quote. And I agree with everything you know he says. You don't wanna launch something and it launches broken or incomplete or handicapped or nerfed in any type of way. So this is technically the right decision. My personal thoughts on this, I don't care. And if you know me, you know why I don't care, because I'm not a fan of co-op in campaigns. I'm barely a fan of co-op in co-op games. That's why I don't really play or buy uh, or just partake in a lot of games that are co-op focused, right? So I feel co-op in a, in a lot of games that were designed around it aren't even that good to begin with. So co-op in campaigns that are more more of a secondary feature, I understand it, it adds an element of fun. 
when you're able to play with your friends. But in a campaign that's not designed around multiple people playing it, I don't feel like it's necessarily the optimal ideal experience, in my opinion, right? In my opinion, co-op ruins the immersion of, and once again, I'm talking about games that weren't necessarily designed around the co-op experience, right? So co-op ruins immersion for me. I think it's the fact that you're playing through the story and if you're partied up with somebody going through a campaign, you hear this, just just hearing another human speak and talk to you when I'm supposed to be in, immersed in this world that doesn't include me listening to somebody else, you know, that I know in the real world. To me, that takes me out of the element, that takes me out of the universe that I'm playing in. So that and that's just personally me. So that's that's one of the reasons that I don't like co-op uh, as a as an addition um, to a to a campaign. Right. It just ruins the immersion for me. Also, I think playing with somebody else also ruins the pacing of the game for me, because now I, I have to go at your I, I feel like I'm I could be either limited by your speed or accelerated by the speed of 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 uh how you're playing the game the pace you're playing the game at right because if it's just me i'm completely in control of how fast or how slow i go if i'm playing with somebody else i kind of got to worry about their pace you kind of got to always keep that person in mind not saying that like i'm playing with somebody that's going to completely slow me down or i can't keep up with them but it's just that thing in the back of your mind that you're playing with somebody else that i actually don't like and the last thing is, I think, yeah, I'm probably like a bit of a narcissist when it comes to playing video games. Video games is a very selfish experience, right? We, we say that all the time. It's a very selfish hobby. When I play video games, the only time I, I enjoy playing with other people is in a competitive setting. If we're going to play competitive Halo, for example, I absolutely want to be partied up. I want to be partied up. I want to be in Discord. Absolutely. I think that's some of the most enjoyable times I've ever experienced in gaming is partied up in a competitive setting. But when it comes to campaign co-op, absolutely not. Another reason I think I don't enjoy campaign co-op is even though, yes, difficulty scales, everybody knows I love a challenge, right? So I think having to play with somebody else takes away uh, from that challenge for me a bit. So that's another, that's, a, that's another reason I don't like it. Like I said, even though the difficulty uh, does scale. So yeah, campaign co-op, it's it's not for me. Um, I, I typically don't like it. There are there are some exceptions, um, but for for the most part, yeah, I'm not. It, it's not something that I care about. It's not something that I enjoy. But I will say, if you're going to have campaign co-op, it makes sense for it makes sense uh, to have it there at launch simply because most people are going to play the 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 Halo campaign. When Halo comes out, if it's a seasonal roadmap update, less people are like, I'm sure there are, there are going to be people that go back and, hey, let's play Halo, you know, in co-op, see how it is. But for the most part, people, that's something that people do at the very beginning of a game's life. When it just launches, uh, they probably beat the game solo and maybe they'll go back immediately, beat the game co-op around the same launch time. But going back months later whenever they plan to release this campaign co-op probably less people are going to do that less people are going to care at that point because they're going to be just knees deep into the multiplayer right so i do agree that co-op should be there at launch even though i don't care about it. and and as far as forge i don't use halo forge i've never used it in the past uh when it comes to any creation tool you can call me you know, uh, unimaginative or not a, a non-creative. I'll tell you firsthand, I'm, I'm not a creative person. You you know that from the type of games that I don't like. Any type of games that, that have to do with creating anything, I absolutely despise them. Anything that has to do with like, like me, that's why I despise Media Molecule as a studio because all of, like all of their games are based on, hey, create this. No, I don't want to create nothing. You can keep that. I want you to give me a, I want you to be 
creative and give me a game I want to play. I don't want you to give me an experience to create things. That's one of the reasons I hate Media Molecule. So yes, I'm not a creative person. I even did, I didn't even like like fifth grade art. Like fifth grade arts and crafts when I was in like elementary school, I hated art class. It's it's it started way back then. I'm not a creative person, um, and I know you know there are going to be the jokes, you know the. And I'm, I'm okay with the jokes, of course. Oh, BG doesn't like co-op because he doesn't have any friends and all that. Stuff. Listen, I'm okay with them jokes. That that's fine with me. Listen, I'm an adult, and one thing I know as an adult: the less friends you have as a, as an adult, the better your life would be. Okay, because a small circle as an adult is the best thing to have. Right. Having 20 so-called friends, by the way, those are not actually your friends. Those are probably just your acquaintances that you consider your friends just because, you know, somebody and you talk to them doesn't mean that you're, that they're your friend. But I'm not going to get preachy. You know, I know I may touch a few nerves because, you know, a lot of you are adults and still uh, using friends to uh, to, uh, you know, uh, convince yourself of, of how loved you are, uh, even though those are not your real friends. But like I said, I keep a small circle on purpose. So yeah, please let the jokes fly. I'm completely fine with that. Um, but yeah, it's it's just co-op has just never really been something I, I, I'm into. I even asked on Twitter, like, yo, what are some games other than games that were designed with co-op in mind to be the core of the game? What other games were like were better in co-op and some people you know named some games to me some people said halo all halo all of the halo campaigns were better in co-op and i say you are absolutely lying halo is absolutely better solo i'm not saying it's not fun in in co-op i'm not saying it can't be but you're there's no way you're going to tell me halo in co-op campaign is is better than the solo campaign that's no way some people said gears i disagree with that um some people said borderlands i know i get crucified for this i beat borderlands game games absolutely solo and i absolutely love them like that some people think borderlands is boring solo i think it's a terrible experience playing with other people that's just my opinion some people said resident evil 5 resident evil 5 i will absolutely agree with you and that's ma mainly because the the sheva ai is 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 absolutely horrendous so um resident evil 5 I, I do agree with you some people said dying light i think that's cap i would never play dying light in co-op dying light is a much better experience because the feeling of being alone and taking all these taking on all these zombies is just better for me and then some people named other games that were designed with uh, co-op in mind like kane and lynch army of two of left for dead of I'm like of course those games are better in co-op it's it's literally a co-op game um but moving on from that i will say that i do think like the fact that there are several things missing from the halo infinite uh campaign um well the halo in infinite game I, I do think it's a red flag that they are a little bit i would say uh behind in schedule i mean they brought jo they brought joseph in like what just last year to pretty much save this game and steer the ship right and we all know he's like he's not jesus he's not a miracle worker i mean i, I do think i knew he would have the ability to get this game right by launch but there was no way he was gonna like come you know like literally just pull miracles and have everything available at launch and have e even that story uh you know and, and the visuals and everything the best possible halo it could possibly be probably not but he's gonna he's it's gonna be serviceable i definitely look forward to the halo multiplayer i've beaten all the halo campaigns even though i'm not the biggest uh you know halo story fanatic or anything like that but i've beaten all the campaigns and they're enjoyable but i'm really looking forward to that multiplayer so i don't really care about the co-op I don't, I don't really care about the forge i just care about mainly the multiplayer because y'all know from like 10 years ago, you know, my slogan was go straight to that multiplayer. Unfortunately, you know, in the last, I feel like in the last seven years, uh, you know, my type of multiplayer games haven't haven't really been uh, designed and, and, and made. So I've been kind of starving out here. Um, but I think uh, more of the type of multiplayer games I'm into are starting to be made again uh, now that this uh, battle royale fad seems to be dying down just slightly at least um, and some people have been even calling for a delay I think that's a little bit dramatic 
that's that's drastic. I have said that I do think it's possible that they delay the campaign to next year and just launch the multiplayer this year because mind you halo still doesn't have a release date call of duty battlefield and a few other other major fall releases have confirmed their release dates and halo still has not does not have a release date phil spencer in an interview did say that he knows i believe he said they know like the two week span that they want to release they're just trying to like lock down the actual day and uh, I think, you're, you know, you might be running out of time, at least. I mean, some people are probably saying November. I think at this point it has to be November because right now we're in August. You could probably you could practically call this September because we're at the end of August. You can't. I feel like if, if you announce a release date practically in September, like I said, we're in right now, you can't launch the next month, which is October. You can't. I, don't, I still don't feel uh, you can launch. It's October. Oh, man. Damn, yeah, dude, yeah, they, yeah, it's got to be November. Yeah, at this point, it's got to be November because giving people a month time is is not enough. I don't think that's enough. So, yeah, it's definitely got to be November at, at this point, and you don't want to launch too close to Call of Duty or Battlefield or any of these major releases. Um, so, yeah, um, like I said, I don't think this is a big deal. I don't personally care. Let me know your thoughts on this are you upset do you think that they should uh delay the game or you know you're fine with this like a uh, little piecemeal uh this drip feeding of, of of content uh let me know your thoughts please hit the like button uh subscribe if you're not hit the notification bell so you can know anytime that i upload a video and uh you know become a member of the channel to support i appreciate all of you um once again gonna be consistent uh, with, uh, you know, making these videos again. If I'm not, you can get on my ass on Twitter and uh, scream at me and let me know what videos uh, I should be making and what topics I should be discussing. All right, so uh, that's about it. I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.